What is up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Rocket Vlogs. In this video, we're going to be building the entirety of my Honest John. Doing this as one long video because winter's coming. It's coming. I can feel it. I don't want to try and paint in the winter. I've painted in the winter a million times with my 5-inch Punisher. I think it was like 12 degrees outside when I painted that. And that was with color shift paint. Nice, it turned off this time, that was cool. But for the sake of brevity and, I mean, you guys have seen me build big rockets a million times, so I thought it would just be fun to do one end to end. It's an honest John, it's just gonna be, you know, all of drab. Should be easy enough to do the paint job and have it looking good enough. That's kind of what I love about doing military rockets. It's like, I don't have to sand everything and make it smooth and nice and perfect. It's a military rocket. It just, it just painted all of drab just like they would have. If you've ever seen real rockets, you know, that they kind of just paint them with whatever colors they have kicking around. The iris is a really good example. Some of them had red fins, some of them had black and white fins, some of them the decal was up at the top, some of them are in the middle, some of them between the fins. There was no rhyme or reason, so there's no reason to make models of them perfect because the real thing was never meant to be perfect. The real thing of this was meant to be blown up, so it doesn't need to look beautiful, and that's what's kind of beautiful in my eyes about this build. Of course, right off the bat, we've already got issues, as usual. Not me forgetting to get U-bolts, like usual. This time I got them, and I even have hardware and everything to mount them up. I'm on top of it this time. What I don't have, though, is fins that fit in the fin slots. Um, interestingly enough, not width-wise, which is a pretty common thing to run into, but I don't know how well you can tell from the camera but these fin slots are probably a quarter inch oversized compared to the fins. They look like they're cut for like five eighths plywood fins and these are three eighths. Oh, you know what? I bet that's what happened. Yeah, grab me the three eighths router bit and then you put a five eighths on there and went, ah, it's fine. At any rate, for those of you who aren't up to speed, this is a smoking rocket, seven and a half inch Honest John kit. Look at this big, giant, goofy Honest John nose cone. I love it so much. This is now one of my favorite rockets. And I know I say that every time I get a new rocket, but that's because I keep buying rockets that I have wanted since I was like 12 years old. And this is big on the list of rockets I've wanted specifically the seven and a half inch smoking rockets kit. So when a deal came up on one of the rocket form, I had to buy it but right now. What I'm going to do is actually go buy a sanding drum for the Dremel because I didn't bring my toolkit with me, unfortunately. And these centering rings kind of look like they were eyeballed and um, cut by hand with a router with a bit on it. They're not very circular is what I'm getting at. The quality control wasn't what we uh, what we have today for a lot of these smaller rocket companies like this. Big thank you to Ken Allen for making this thing happen. PerformanceHobbies.com, he is still around. He's mostly an on-site vendor from what I gather. If you want, and who knows, if you want one of these, maybe you could call him and he could, for all I know, have one sitting around somewhere. At any rate, I'm gonna go get the tools I need to start building this. We're gonna start with the motor mount assembly, obviously, as we always do. We're gonna put U-bolts in the forward centering ring, and then we're going to put the fins on, and that freaks me out a little bit, having those fin slots being way, way too big, because my plan was to slit it down the back like we did with the 12-inch Punisher, so I can glue the fins in, pull the whole ensemble out, do internal fillets, and then glue the whole ensemble back in. Um, it shouldn't be too bad, considering there's only about three quarters of an inch from the end of the fin slot to the end of the tube and I have some extra seven and a half inch couplers and stiffy tubes so I'll probably end up using a section of coupler on the inside there so when it lands it doesn't crunch that phenolic tube. A couple quick things before we're off to the races though. It is a new quarter, quarter four, and we still have over 25 Patreon supporters, which means at the end of October, I will be giving away a high power rocket kit worth up to $100. And if we can get to 50 patrons, I'll do up to $200. And we could take a vote on that, whether that be a kit and a motor for a level and certification or a kit and an aero pack with all the recovery gear and all of that stuff. But if you're interested, Join Patreon as little as $5 a month and you get full ad-free launch videos. Midwest Power is coming up 
and all of the previous ones are available on back roll there so you can watch the entire thing with no ads in one long part alternatively if you're not interested in joining the patreon i started selling the rocket videos on a usb drive so you get a 32 gigabyte flash drive or probably 64 gigabyte moving forward once i'm out of the 32s just because the files are going to keep stacking up eventually it's 15 dollars for one video five dollars for each additional video or 40 dollars for the five full-length rocket videos that i currently have and you can take those off the flash drive save them on your computer and use the flash drive as just a flash drive if you'd like to all those prices include shipping if you're interested in having that check send me an email at rocketvlogs911 at gmail.com and with the price of gas right now it's getting pretty ugly we're flying out to illinois as well but i want to appreciate everybody who supported me thus far and even if you don't have the money to financially support the channel directly you are doing so by being here all i need you to do is press the like button leave a comment your favorite part of this video or the favorite rocket that i have or my favorite flight of this year or your favorite flight of mine of this year or your favorite flight of yours of this year just leave a comment it doesn't matter but the youtube algorithm loves to see it so even if you don't have money and you don't want to give me your money that's absolutely fine i appreciate you being here and uh yeah let's build a big honest john <laughs>
which means these fins were cut for a 75 millimeter mount. 